So Photoshop just released their newest AI tool, not a program, it's a tool inside of Photoshop known as Generative AI. And if I might add, it's probably one of the like most usable AIs, but most importantly, I think it actually might be one of the best. Right now, if you're watching this video on upload, my everything pack, which is the one-time purchase for custom assets for life is right now 50% off, $20. Go pick it up literally right now in the description down below. Trust me, I guarantee you almost, can I say that? That you will love it, just saying. Okay, so let's actually start off where to actually get this yourself. Under the Creative Cloud app, if you're under home, you go to apps, then you go over here where it says categories, right? And then beta apps, that's you can actually find it, download it, it's just a white background. You can see the little Photoshop sign right here and you guys are good to go. Our first use case has to be thumbnails. Now, if you're like me and you're just like not the best, and maybe like, you know, maybe you have the best, but you don't own, maybe you don't own like that many, just like a soup, okay? Watch this, right? So of course, the way that generative AI actually works is you can basically use any kind of marquee selection to activate the effect. So you can do a marquee like rectangle tool, you can do a lasso tool, you can make a photo, uh, a pen tool, make it into a marquee selection. I'm gonna just say all of this right here. I'm gonna take this and then just kind of circle around it. But for the record, if you don't hold shift to make a new selection with your current selection, your old selection, it'll just redo it, right? So make sure you hold shift to get that out there. And also though, in this case right here, where I messed up, I can press Q on my keyboard when the marquee selection is live, take my brush and you can see my color change to white to black. So what's gonna happen here is I can take this, use my black or excuse me, my white to erase, boom, and then my black to fill in. That way, anywhere that I messed up, obviously, I can kind of fix really fast. Anyway, now I can go ahead and go to this generation fill and I'm gonna type in white jacket suit. Does that make, whatever, I'm gonna type that in and hopefully I don't get this error. Okay, well, I got it. However, though, when you get the error, I would just spam it like 10 more times. You guys will probably get it. So we'll see, I mean, Okay, second time, it works. So you can see, you might actually get an error for the record. I don't wanna show you guys the non-crappiness about it. It's probably gonna do an error a few times, just so you guys know. But let's see what we actually get from this with white jacket suit. Ooh, I would wear that. I mean, it's not white, but it is a suit. What happens though when you finish generation fill? Of course, your properties table, if it's not open for every reason, Windows properties to get that baby open. However though, properties will actually show you guys three different generations. So it'll show you guys the, the first one, which I think is really good, the second one, and a third option. Of course, I will say though, let's make sure we use these thumbs ups and thumb down buttons because we want this to be really good. I'm just gonna say that really just for now. It's not sponsored by the way. Just saying we should probably use it. What the cool thing is though, if you can take a generation itself and actually regenerate using the previous prompt that you selected on. So if one is really good, other ones are kind of bad. You can use that one really good one and regenerate three different more options. This was actually really freaking good overall, but I'm gonna see if I can create a new one with my new generated. And to be honest, so the second time here, the, the inside shirt is actually a little more darker, which gives me more contrast, which I kind of like a little bit more as well for just for a thumbnail. So I'm actually curious how specific we can actually get with this. Now for the record, if I want to completely restart, I can hold control for the record, slightly thumbnail of this layer. Also, if I can make it bigger, that'd be awesome too. Let's do large thumbnails. Control, hold the thumbnail of this layer just like so. Get the marquee selection once again, and I can completely restart with no previous prompts, and it's probably gonna be better uh, overall result. But what if I said a black jacket with white, inside shirt you know what i mean like this is like a prompt that i would do for like a like a mid journey or something like that i wonder though what it's going to do for this case if it's going to give me something usable or even is it going to like actually register what i'm saying okay so first was the no-go second one we got a shirt what if i wanted to say to myself now i want a crown on my head one thing i know for certain that generation fill is actually or generative fill is actually really good at is if i were to go something like this and I type in, I want a gold crown. It actually does a really good job. I've done this before, a really good job at holding the actual shadowing and also keeping like, I didn't put gold crown on head, hair poking out, whatever. I just put gold crown selected near my head. Genuinely, it's really smart how this AI works. And I'm just curious if it's gonna give me a somewhat similar result from last time, but let's hope, please. That's not my hair for the record, obviously. I'm losing mine kind of. So realistically, the second, what the? <laughs> that's i mean it's sick if i had hair like that but uh oh ooh. 
it looks really good the shadowing of course on the actual head is very very good the overall crown itself not my favorite but of course you can just take it regenerate it hopefully get something better but just saying this is actually not a bad option whatsoever okay so what if in a use case where you want to actually do like a photo manipulation like i have here something going on here it's a finished project but i just obviously unfinished it but let's take this over here and i want to say to myself what if right i, I don't want to cut out all this blue stuff as you can tell what if I were to take this and I were to actually give this a go at maybe making a city skyline in the back. You never know. Okay, so let's see what we get with New York City skyline. Just for the record, by the way, if you guys did not know, it actually takes the overall composition and uses that as well as like a prompt inspired by like if you were in mid journey or something like that right so you'll see all these lines things like that i'll take that into consideration realistic i'm not expecting my that's awful for the record this is really bad but you can see what i was saying before it actually takes all those different lines and things and it makes it that it's connected everywhere that you guys can see it which is realistically really really good i'm sure with like a few more months or where this actually comes out it'll be way way better you can see the lines do connect anyway though let's see our second version not bad third version is also not terrible i mean the blue is off from the actual overall background but you can of course fix that yourself but overall the buildings are not that great but you can see in this case here the perspective is actually pretty good like for the record this over here is not ai generated but this is you can see it actually still matched the overall perspective pretty decent it's not great I, it'll probably never be great in this use case right now and this and this current picture because it is a bridge a lot of different line things going on i'm sure it's not its favorite thing to ever to to do to do anyway but let's actually do let's do like a sign up here let's do a green highway metal sign okay i mean for one it at least put it in the right perspective which is a super good thing right however this could be a different country's one i didn't put like united states green highway sign but i'm actually really curious if i were to do like uh i would just to put like highway sign i mean it's better looking i don't know if it's actually a highway sign i have no what is that oh it connected this line right here look at that oh that's so sick what the heck okay i don't know what this one is but these are definitely taken from different countries i'm sure if i put like united states highway sign or something like that it might work a little bit better but regardless though it does work i did get a sign and it did put it in the right perspective and shadows i will take that speaking of shadows though actually what if oh okay stick with me here stick with me here okay in a universe where you don't want to do shoes right and do like shadow on the shoes i know for a fact i can't do shadows like great at all but what if i were to just do a little hack and i went over these shoes right and i put nike shoe i'm telling you right now if this works i'm a happy boy and also for the record what if it photos that don't have feet you know what if this could work i mean okay that one is definitely not that good let's see the other ones this one oh oh i mean uh, <laughs> it has their imperfections right it, it, like this little part right here or even like this different one it doesn't really have like a nike symbol or anything like that or even looks like a little bad photoshop cut out here this is really good the shadow work if you're not good at shadows let's say you're like a novice designer and you don't really know how to do shadows on feet and stuff like that to be honest i'm pretty sure after like a few generations you can really you can get a really good shoe and just like use that i mean the second go here pretty decent i got a better looking shoe it's not that great when it comes to this right here or like this angle is probably not that great either but to be honest though guys from the distance that looks pretty good can this actually if i take multiple selections like this and i do like boom boom i want birds maybe like flying like right here flying birds is it gonna actually allow me to do multiple different selections in different areas and also still create like a really you like unified photo right i mean okay so the answer is yes it does work and the second question is does it work enough i wish it was in the foreground right but it's not bad okay so last quick thing i just want to show you guys basically everything that it can do now the the the, the popular thing on social media right now of course is that the fact that it can actually generate a photo and like fill it for you let's just say you want to make like a landscape photo or, or you want to extend the edges of a photo a little bit more right if i just take this extend it use the marquee selection over here hold shift use it over here as well let's type in generation fill boom and we're gonna just literally put in whatever the the environment looks like to be honest just looks like dirt <laughs> like this handsome man by the way that's oddly really good i'm actually what does this give me what 
genuinely i am i am not even like trying to play it up look at the foreground look at the complexity of the image that they're trying to create this for the record is not there obviously i've been there i took the photo here this is genuinely mind-blowingly cool this is generating a genuine scene that is actually like there's no like this issue here or this second version has zero issues in my opinion with that being said guys that's pretty much this really is all i got so i mean if you guys want to try it out yourselves of course this is photoshop beta i'm sure it's going to come out like another month or so hopefully it's going to even come out better which if in that case it's definitely going to be the best ai out there for definite sure and it's in the program as a tool not a plugin a tool that's just game changing but yeah go give it a shot and also don't forget everything packed selfie.com hq everything pack one-time purchase custom design assets for life as you guys know i mean it's, it's, get it just get it anyway i'll talk to you guys later so hq out you're gonna get a key smiling stay positive and stay freaking proud of guys gonna much yourself peace enjoy your ai this is sick